Hi, in this video we're going to look at performing a partial match uh, in an if function scenario. So what we're going to do is we're going to give J Oliver branded products a 15% discount. Now obviously J Oliver is never the full product name, it's only part of the name, hence the reason we need to do a partial match on this criteria. So I'm going to start off by using the search function. Now the search function returns the position of a text string within another text string. So we're trying to find this, which I'll fix, because we're going to be copying the formula down within this. I'm not going to use the last argument. You only need to use that if you need to start, say, in the middle of your text string. You want to start searching for J Oliver, say, five characters in. If so, you'd put five within the start number argument. We don't need to do that. So I'm going to copy that down. And what it'll do is it will return a numeric position if it finds that text string within the product text string. Now, an if function requires a true and false logical test. So what we could do is evaluate the search function using is number. Now is number will return true if the search function gives a number, false if it doesn't. So here we go. True and false is exactly what we need. And so now we can use an if. So this is number function will become the logical test within our if function. Is numbers are logical test, comma. If the is number function returns true, we want to calculate the new discounted price. So that would be the price times essentially 85% if we're giving a 15% discount. So that would be in brackets one minus the discount which I'd also need to fix, comma, and then our value of false. Well, we don't really want to calculate anything if there's no discount. So I'll just leave an empty cell, empty text string, close the bracket, and let's copy this down, see what it gives us. Yes, we've got our discounted price on any of the Jamie Oliver products in our list. So I'll just show you the formula again. So we did our search to find out whether J Oliver was in the product uh, name. It returned the position of J Oliver if it did. We could then say, has the search function returned a number or not? That, that gave us our logical test. If true, we performed our little discount formula. If false, we returned an empty cell. I suppose the only other thing we probably should do is do a little bit of formatting here show it as currency and there we have it so performing a partial match uh, with an if function uh, thanks very much for listening and hopefully that's been helpful